Hey DC nerds, Alan here. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited for Wonder Woman because I think it could be the first good DC Universe movie. Be sure to leave an angry comment if your mom's name is Martha. Wonder Woman's most iconic tools are her indestructible bracelets, which paired with her super reflexes means she can block bullets with a wave of an arm. Now what I want to know is what happens to the bullet after it's been blocked. Are innocent bystanders really safe around a bullet blocking Wonder Woman, or is the ricochet a recipe for disaster? There's only one way to find out. Let's make some real bulletproof Wonder Woman gauntlets, and then shoot them with some bullets. Whew. Hot off the press. I'll be the first to admit that these aren't the greatest welds. When it comes to metal, I'm still kind of a noob. That being said, it feels pretty solid. I don't know about when we put a few rounds into this, but for now it feels pretty solid. Now I'm gonna grind the surface down a little bit, maybe hit it with a bit of gold spray paint, and then all I'll have left to do is find an Amazonian warrior to try these on for me. I'm here with my friend Sarah Petkus, artist, engineer, real life Wonder Woman. We're out in the middle of nowhere, Nevada to test out the Wonder Woman gauntlets. What do you think? These are pretty awesome, but the, uh, the welds are kind of, uh... <laughs> <laughs> In my defense, I was using a really crappy welder. I'm gonna blame the machine for this one. Right. <laughs> Safety warning time. From this point on, don't try anything you're about to see at home. Here is our setup. This is our Wonder Woman analog. We're gonna be installing the gauntlet right here. Her arm is angled at 30 degrees so that any of the ricochet will be biased towards the ground and not directly back at us. We have three targets set up. They're the good, the bad, and the ugly. These correspond to the targets that would be around Wonder Woman in a battle situation. So this is Steve Trevor. This is the civilian she's trying to protect. This is maybe an innocent bystander, could be a bad guy. This is definitely a bad guy standing point blank in front of Wonder Woman. This is the dude who would be shooting directly at her. These panels are gonna give us a sense of if there is ricochet and if there is, if it's enough to actually damage the board or be dangerous. I've got a 22 here. We're gonna start with some smaller rounds and fire them at Alan's gauntlets. Assuming that they stay in one piece, then we'll move up to something a bit beefier. This is a 22 caliber. I am firing at Wonder Woman's gauntlet. Starting now. Let's take a look at the results. Yeah. I wonder what happened. I wonder. All right, Here. the gauntlet held up. That's in one piece. It took a few clips, but I think we managed to get like a solid 30 rounds into the gauntlet. And it is very clear some action has happened right here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. That is, that's, that's pretty amazing. Wonder Woman's not doing too good. <laughs> the, the gauntlets blocked the bullets really well, but she also just got this huge slash of just fragments of hot molten lead bullets. Yeah, all over like. her. So her, her like chest right now, cross her heart and like hope to not die, I don't know. <gasps> what about our collateral damage here? We got Steve Trevor, we got good guy. Do you see anything? I don't really see anything. It's like pretty clean. All right, what about the ugly? Ugly? <sighs> maybe, do you see maybe, something? Maybe, the. The paint's a little bit chipped here, but it's hard to say. All right, what about the bad? The bad, right in front of her. Um, nothing really deflected in front of her either, it seems. There's obviously, there is some splash going on. Something is bouncing off of these gauntlets, but I think these guys are all just too far away. We have really great results so far. It looks like there's this kind of perfect splash line from the 22 caliber that just kind of hits her gauntlet and fans out like this. So what we've done is we've moved all of the targets, the good, the bad, and the ugly, way closer to see, uh, to get a better chance of getting any kind of ricochet or splash onto these folks here. Since the gauntlet is still perfectly intact, we're going to be moving on to the 38 caliber and it's going to be a full metal jacket, so it's going to increase the chance of fragments of stuff going everywhere. So let's see what happens. <laughs> oh god. 38 caliber versus Wonder Woman's gauntlet. So 
this is the 38 caliber. Uh, that gun's a lot. It's really hard to aim. I see a bunch of <laughs> misses, and then there's this one kind of nice. I don't know. Like, that one's a ricochet. Yeah. This one's a ricochet. It must. It must just come in. Bink, right into Steve Trevor. Do you see any other damage? No, I do not. That's not as much data as we got with the 22, but my gauntlet is still holding up. Let's move on to the 40 caliber. Alan Pan's first 40 caliber. So 40 caliber knocked knocked the gauntlet right off of her hand. It is gone. It there is, it is. Right there, there's ants. Still on it. in one piece though. I would like to point out. <laughs> the, look at that. There's a couple more holes here. And that that those are all ricochet. Those right there. Yeah. They, this is us sucking, but this this is actual like. They're all in the same place. Between the 38 and the 40, those those ricocheted bullets all ended up going right over there into Steve Trevor. That is not a good day. <laughs> no. Alright, now that we're away from the desert and all the gunfire, let's talk about our results. Out of about 40 direct hits to the gauntlet, we didn't get a single bullet ricocheted forward. It turns out that when a lead bullet hits a flat steel surface, the bullet behaves kind of like a liquid and flattens out and splashes outwards rather than bouncing back. Well that didn't work. That along with the curved sides of the gauntlet means that a ricochet directly back at the shooter is extremely unlikely. In fact, we didn't even see any ricochet to the sides of the gauntlet. All of the ricochet and splash went to the left and the right behind the gauntlet or directly underneath it. When you look at the damage, it's almost weird how consistent it is. It's almost like there's a shadow, a bullet shadow, just around and behind the gauntlet. So does this bust the myth of Wonder Woman blocking bullets? I'd say with a few tweaks it's actually pretty plausible. Instead of standing square to the shooter, if Wonder Woman stands to the side, her body is mostly behind that bullet shield behind her gauntlet. Further, if she tilts her arm upwards rather than downwards, most of the vertical bullet splash should end up going over her head. And in the trailer, we actually see Wonder Woman take almost this exact stance, just with her shield instead of her gauntlet. As for Steve Trevor, as long as he's standing directly behind Wonder Woman, he should be alright. But if he strays just a bit to the left or right, he's toast. And the innocent bystanders, as long as they're a couple of yards to the side of Wonder Woman and not behind her, they should probably be fine too as most of the ricochet and spray will end up going past them. This is probably the coolest experiment I've ever done. Sponsored message time! The nice folks at Hackster.io made this video possible. Hackster.io has tutorials and how-tos for pretty much every hardware project out there. Hackster.io is the fastest growing online community for creating hardware. If you want to learn some of the same skills that I use to build stuff, Hackster.io is a great place to get started. So head on over to Hackster.io or click the link in the description today and create a free account to get started and build something. Special thanks to real life STEM Wonder Woman Sarah Petkiss. Make sure you check out her YouTube channel Gravity Road where she is the mother of robots. And thanks to Tony Filippiak who let us borrow his guns and act as our safety officer. Tony and Sarah have a YouTube channel together called Vandalism Committee. I feel like the results of this video might be a little controversial so tell me your thoughts in the comments or just let me know what you want to see me build next. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button so you receive notifications. Alright, thanks for watching!